What is going on everybody? Welcome to part four of our Kaggle Data Science Bowl 2017 tutorial series. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is, uh, basically in the last video, we, we resized this kind of 2D element, but the actual depth part we're having problem with. Now, uh, it might be possible that you can do this with CV2. I just really don't know that that's, CV2 will work with 3D images. So what I'm gonna do instead is, Basically, my idea is that, well, all we really need to do is take the image or the slices, put them into a list of slices, and then chunk that list of slices into a fixed number of chunks of slices, and then you just average those chunks, okay? And then that's how you could do it. So let's just kind of extract out, abstract out the whole that it's, you know, chunks of scans. Just the question is, okay, how do we chunk a list of lists, or so I'm sorry, how do we chunk a list into a list of lists? Well, I don't know the answer to that, or I didn't anyway. So I went to Google and I just typed, you know, how to chunk a list of lists, a list into a list of list Python. So, okay, first answer, let's check it out. Scroll on down, hey, it's got a big green check. How do you, what do you do? Let's see, it's a generator that yields the chunks um, that you want. It takes in L, which I'm going to assume is a list. It takes N, which I assume is some sort of number. Yes, it yields successive N-sized chunks from L. So it's not quite what we want. We want a chunk. We want to be able to say, hey, I want 20 chunks from this list. So it's not quite what we want, but that's all right. We can use algebra and we can solve that problem. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Thank you, Ned. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna come over here, make some space here, paste. Cool. So, um, and while we're doing that, let's go ahead and source this. So it's Ned, I can never get his last name right. Batchelder, 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 I don't know. Batchelder, I don't know. Someone can correct me below, tell me how to say his name. Um, uh, source, I guess. Ned, that shoulder, link, link, boom. All right, thanks, Ned. Next, what we're gonna do is, um, basically when we have these chunks, we're gonna need to average them together. So the way that we're, I'm just gonna do that is with just a mean function. So to find mean, it's going to be the mean of a list, return sum L divided by len L. Really simple stuff. Okay, we've got image pick size. We also need to have one more, and that's going to be how many slices. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is, before we get too far into this, let's import math. So it should actually go here. Import, import math. And now what we're going to do is come down here to the, this, this, this area after we've kind of got our slices. Once we have our slices, we're going to say instead um, slices. Actually, we'll start with we'll start with new slices, and that's just going to be an empty list. And then what we're going to say is we're going to resize the slices. So we're going to say slices equals, and this is just going to be a list of or a one-liner kind of list of lists here. And we're going to say we're just going to copy this, copy and paste for each slice, oops, don't forget your underscore, each slice in slices. So it's just a one-liner for loop that's going to do this resize operation. Okay, so it just creates these new slices already resized for us. Now what we're gonna do is we've gotta figure out, okay, so we know, we know we want 20 chunks, but we've got this generator that will just chunk into N-sized chunks. So we're just going to use algebra here. So we're gonna say, basically, we need to know how big of chunk sizes do we want? Well, we're gonna say the size will be math.seal, the len of the slices, divided by how many slices do we want? That'll give us the chunk size where it produces how many slices, you know, how many chunks, basically, or HM slices, whatever that is, that many. So, so 20 or that's our goal. But whether you use math.seal, math.floor, or round, or whatever, it's not gonna be perfect, um, but it'll be close enough. 
So we can run that. And then what we can do is we can say, we'll come down here and we're gonna say for slice chunk um, in chunks, that's our generator here. And the chunks takes slices, that a list, and chunks it into the chunk sizes that we've determined here to give us a total of 20 chunks. Now for the slice chunk, remember, that's a list of slices still. We need to average those together. So what we're gonna say is slice chunk now is going to equal list map. If you're in Python 2, just map. I think list map still works in Python 2, but you don't need it. We're gonna map that mean function to the zip of arg slice chunk. So just, you know, any length of slice chunk basically. So it's an arg. Now we're going to say new slices dot append slice chunk. Now we should have about 20. It's not gonna be perfect. So we're gonna say print len new slices. And for now I'm gonna comment this out. So I'm just gonna do, let's see. Thanks, autocomplete. I really, I really appreciate you. Oh gosh, I hate you. <laughs> All right, there we go. No, mm -hmm. there we go. All right. Today, syntax fights autocomplete. So ten. All right, let's run that real quick. To see what we got. Sure enough, twenty, nineteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 all the way down to eighteen, even. Thanks. All right. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and insult the Pythonistas in the crowd. I really don't know the best way to solve this problem, right? I just know of a way to solve this problem. And that's just, that's the reality, okay? That's just the way it is. Um, if you know of a better solution, or if you know CV2.resize works on 3D images, um, feel free to share your, your better way. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see what better things people can come up with. Also, like some sort of wow loop would probably be better than what I'm about to show you. But this is what I did. So I'm just, this is my real raw, uncut um, first pass. All right, so we okay, say if len new slices, if that length is equal to hm, so how many slices minus one. Basically, do we, if we have 19 slices, what do we want to do? Well, we just need one more slice. So we're going to say new slices dot append new slices negative one. So we're just gonna take the last slice and just, just stuff it right back in there, <laughs> right? So boom, 20 slices, done. If um, if this happens again, like, or basically if, if it's not negative one, but it's negative two, well, we can just do this, done. Next question is, we, we should not be more than two. If we're more than two, that's really weird either way. Like that really shouldn't happen. So now we're gonna say if len new slices equals hm slices plus two, what do we wanna do? Well, okay, this is gonna be a little longer, <laughs> but um, the idea here is like, if, if it's too big, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that last slice or that last chunk basically, but now it's just a slice and we're just gonna average it to the second to last slice thus making one big, one slightly larger final slice. Okay, not the greatest, but uh, it's, what, it's what you get, it's what you get. So, um, so now what we're gonna say is new val equals, and this will again be list map, and we're gonna map that mean function. Again, it'll be zip. Again, it's gonna be an arg, and in this case, this is gonna be really hard for me not to write wrong, but here we go. New slices with the index of hm sl slices minus one. And then we also wanna just do new slices, hm slices, right? So the final two, we're just gonna average them together. That's your new value. Now we're going to say, um, we really could just replace it, uh, well, no, we actually, yeah, we kind of need to do this. So we're going to say del new slices, hm slices. And then we're going to say new, new slices, hm slices. 
oops, minus one, equals new, oops, new val. Okay, so hm slices minus one, that's the, the final one. You could also probably, you could say, should be able to get away with this, like negative one as well. Anyway, new val. All right, that's if it's plus two. What if it's plus one? Well, we just do the same thing. Because if it was plus two, we still only removed one slice. So plus one is still going to be the case. So boom. And if it was never plus two, but still only plus one, fine. Again, I apologize profusely, but uh, that's what I wrote the first time around. Feel free to fix it if you'd like. Now, finally, actually, hmm, uh, I still kind of want to print the slices. Um, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Print len new slices. Oh, 20s for everyone. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and graph it. Now, it's 20. So, we really just, we're just going to do this. We're going to say new slices. Four num, each slice, boom. It's a four by five now. I think we're all set. Let's see what we get. Oh, oh we don't need to resize it. Uh, right. So, gross. Why did you do that? I asked you to run. Why are you not running? I don't know why it spit out such an ugly. Are you really going to do me like this? Let's see. Could we. No, it's one of the other data. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have stopped it. It was there. It just had that really weird looking. Fine. You want, you want to do this? I will fight you. Jerk. All right. All right, sorry about that. Oh, it's printing out all of them. Oh my gosh, how many are we doing here? Uh, at least it's just 10. <laughs> anyway, these are our patients. Yay. Okay. So so we've got what we need. We've got what we're looking at. Um, we're, we're content with what we've seen. We're, we're expecting that if there's tumors here, we would still be able to see them. Even though, you know, because in theory, our slices hopefully went from, I don't know, a few millimeters to maybe a centimeter or something like that. So if there's still something there, because they're averaged together, it should still be visible. That's my assertion. Okay, so now that we've made it to this far, what we need to do next is actually pre-process the data. Because our end goal still is to pass this through some model. And the model of choice that I want to pass it through is a three-dimensional convolutional neural network. So, um, so we basically need to convert this into some sort of acceptable data set. So that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. If this kernel is helping you out, uh, please do give me a upvote in the kernels um, on Kaggle. It'll help me out a lot. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next video.